Hi guys. So I wanted to make this video today to help you guys out with science. Remember, we've been learning about the atmosphere these past couple of days and the atmosphere is the sphere of the earth that has everything to do with air, all of the gases that are surrounding us and everything to do with air, okay? We've learned about the different layers of the atmosphere. Remember, we have the troposphere, which is that area that we live in, we fly planes in. We have the exosphere, that's the farthest layer away from the earth. And yesterday we looked at how landforms impact the weather and the climate. Remember we talked about three different ways that landforms impact the weather and the climate. We talked about um, that rain shadow effect. Remember where um, our, the air gets pushed upwards and the clouds get so full that it has to rain, but it only ends up raining on one side of the mountain. So one side is very green and full of life and the other side is kind of dead. There's nothing really, no life really going on over there. Okay, we also talked about lifting where again, the air is pushed up into the clouds and the clouds get so full that they have to rain. And then finally, we talked about the wind funnel effect where the wind, wind kind of takes that path of least resistance. So instead of going up and around the mountains and up and around the buildings, it just goes straight through. Okay, and that causes wind to be very, very powerful. Today is our last day. Um, we're gonna learn about the specific atmosphere. And we're gonna talk about something we call the ozone layer. All right, so I'm gonna share my screen here. Remember if I highlight it, go ahead and write it down. All right, so I'm sure you guys have heard of the ozone layer before, okay? So the ozone layer is another important gas in our atmosphere is ozone, okay? So remember we talked about our two main gases in our atmosphere was nitrogen and oxygen, but then we had a little bit of a mixture of all these other gases and that includes the gas of ozone, okay? So another important gas in our atmosphere is ozone. Okay, ozone is found mainly in a layer of the atmosphere called the ozone layer. And it's about nine miles above Earth's surface, okay? So go ahead and add that to your notes, ozone layer. Another important gas in our atmosphere is ozone. And ozone is found mainly in the layer of the atmosphere called the ozone layer. So as we know, there's not a lot of ozone because mostly our atmosphere is made up of nitrogen and oxygen, okay? So there's not a lot of it, but what is made up of ozone is mostly in the ozone layer. All right, moving right along. So why is the ozone layer so important, okay? So this gas is so important because it has the unique ability to absorb the sun's ultraviolet radiation, okay? So go ahead, that's very important. It is so important because it has the ability to absorb the sunlight's radiation. Okay, so as we know, the sun is very, very hot and it shines down on earth, okay? And this ozone layer is able to actually take some of those sun's rays so it doesn't harm us and harm animals, okay? Yes, we know that we still get sunburned, okay? But the ozone layer allows uh, it to, our sunburn to not be that bad, okay? If we didn't have an ozone layer, there would be a large chance that the earth would be too hot for us to even live on. So what does the ozone layer do? It absorbs that ultraviolet radiation from the sun and it protects animals and plants from getting too much of the sun's dangerous rays. Go ahead and add that in there. And like I said, guys, without the ozone layer, it would, Earth would actually be a very dangerous, a very hazardous place, okay? And I want us to look at the question at the bottom of this slide. Areas that, areas that have seen a decrease in ozone have seen a large increase in skin cancer. Why? Why do you think that is? 
Well, if you're thinking kind of along the lines of the fact that, well, because there's not as much ozone there, the sun is able to get at the earth more and it actually is causing that damage. So because there's a decrease in the ozone layer, more of the sun's ultraviolet radiation is reaching earth, earth and causing the skin cancer. So the ozone layer is very, very important because it protects us, animals, and plants from too much UV light. Our right, another gas uh, that is in our atmosphere, okay, is that of water vapor. Just like ozone, water vapor is there's only a small amount in the ozone, or there's only a small amount in the atmosphere. Okay, so go ahead and add that to our notes. Water vapor. So water vapor is another gas in our atmosphere and it has a big impact on temperature. All right, so water vapor is water in gas form, okay? It, but it's invisible, okay? It's like water, but it's invisible. And you see that oftentimes in the form of steam. So if you ever like look outside the window, okay? And it was like kind of really, really cold, all right? You see steam kind of coming off that ice. That's water vapor being evaporated up into the atmosphere. And we can also think of that as when we are active or when we're working out, our body starts to sweat, okay? And as that sweat comes down, it evaporates off of your body in order to cool it down. The reason your body sweats is so it can cool down. That water vapor is being absorbed off your body and it's taking that heat away from your body, allowing your body to cool down. So the same thing that happens on your body where you're sweating and that water vapor is pulling that heat off your body so your body can cool down, the same thing happens on the surface of the earth. As water evaporates from the earth's surface, heat is carried into the atmosphere. So as that water evaporates, it allows the earth to cool down. So add that to your notes, please. As water evaporates from earth's sun, heat is carried into the atmosphere and it allows the surface of the earth to actually cool down. All right, moving on. So a hole in the ozone layer will not harm Earth. Is that true or false? A hole in the ozone layer is not going to harm Earth. If you said false, you are correct. Obviously a hole in the ozone layer is, is going to harm Earth because more of the Earth's ultraviolet rays are going to reach Earth and that is going to be a problem. Evaporation of water cools earth down, true or false? If you said true, you are correct. Remember evaporation of that water vapor, it's pulling heat with it, which is causing the earth to cool down. All right guys, so that is where we are going to stop for today. Remember what we talked about today is the ozone layer and water vapor. Those are those two other gases besides nitrogen and oxygen that are found in the atmosphere. And they're both very important because the ozone layer uh, blocks that UV radiation from reaching earth and water vapor allows the earth to cool down by pulling that heat with it when it evaporates. So I hope that, video, that this video was helpful. I'll see you guys later.